Hello bass guitars and welcome to your third guided music practice video. In today's lesson we are going to be reviewing our quavers and how to count them on different beats and then we're just going to be practicing them. It's going to be a nice easy lesson and you will be successful when you can correctly play quavers on all of the different beats in your music and change notes at the same time. So let's look at exercise 50, eighth note express. What beat is the quaver or the quavers on in exercise 50? Beat one, two, three, or four. So beat one is a tar, beat two is quavers, beat three is a tar, and beat four is a tar. And isn't that the same for every bar? Nearly, good, so it goes tar, T, T, ta, ta. Clap the beat and say the rhythm. Three, four. Ta, T, T, ta, ta. Ta, T, T, ta, ah. Ta, T, T, ta, ta. Ta, T, T, ta, ah. Now, see if you can work out the numbers that you would say in the first bar. So you have beat one, which is one, beat two, which is two, and then the and of beat two is and. So it should be one, two, and three, four. Can you work out how to say the rest of the music? Let's go from the beginning. Three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. One, two, and three, four. One, two, two and three. So I didn't say four, I said four by extending the three so that we knew how long that note went for. Now, what note is exercise 50 on? F, good, and where is F? On the bass guitar. So it should be on our D strings, third fret. So that's our F, and it goes ta, T, T, ta. Let's try it together. Three, four. Pause and practice that. Ready, and. Pause and practice that on your own. It should be really easy and you should be able to count in your head while you play. Now let's look at exercise 52. Eighth note expert. What beat is the quave, what beat are the quavers on in exercise 52? They are on beat one. So it goes T, T, ta, ta, ta. What about numbers? How would it go with numbers? See if you can work it out. Pausing here. Now let's say it together. Three, four, one and two, three, four, one, two, three, rest. One and two, three, four, one, two, three, rest. Now, can you say the counting and do the fingers? What note is it on? E flat, so again, we're on D string. First fret this time. Ready? And one and two, three, four, one, two, three, rest. One and two, three, four, one, two, three, rest. Now do the same thing. And these fingers are doing the one and two. Ready? Three, four, one and two, three, four, one, two, three, rest. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, rest. And you go back and repeat it. Pause and practice that as much as you need to. Now look at exercise 55. Now let's go from 55 from the beginning. What is the first note? B flat, good. So first finger, first fret in B flat. And it goes one, two, and three, four. Can you just do that? Tapping your finger, making sure you're swapping. One, two, and three, four. Okay, and play it. Ready, and. Good. 
See how I went index, middle, index, middle, index. So I'm using the fingerings that they're telling me to use down there and I'm alternating every single time. Now our next note is C. So third finger, third fret, and we're alternating again. So we're up to middle finger this time. Middle, index, middle, index, middle. Pause and practice that. And now look at the next note, D. So D is open string on the D, this one here. And we're up to our first finger again. So it's first, middle, first, middle, first. Say the rhythm. One, two, and three, four, and play it. Ready, and. Pause and practice that. And look at the next bar. What note is it? E flat. So here, first finger, ready, and. Did you start with your middle finger? Make sure you did. Do it again. Ready, and. And now look at the next note, which is an F. So third finger, third fret. And then look at the next note, which is G. So open string. Pause and practice all the way up till there, from the beginning to G. And let's see if we can play it together. Beginning, ready, and. Two and three, four. One, 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 two and three, four. Pause and practice that until it's really easy and you've got the hang of it. Now look at the next two bars. You'll see here that the notes go all the way back down to B flat, then jump up and jump back down again. See if you can work out the notes and which fingers you'd be using in your right hand. Let's say it together. So we have F, E, E, D, C, B flat, F, B flat, two. And in this hand, it would be F, E, E, D, C, C, B flat, F, B flat. See if you can do it together slowly. Just do the F, E, E. Ready, and F, E, E. Pause and practice that. Now the next two notes, D and C, C. D, C, C. Pause and practice that. Now join it together. So we have F, E, E, D, C, C. Pause and practice that now, the whole bar. And then add on the last three notes. Play the last three notes, ready? B flat, F, B flat. And again, B flat, F, B flat. And now last two bars, ready? And F, E, E, D. Oops, I did it wrong. Ready? And F, E, E, D, C, C, B flat, F, B flat. Pause and practice that on your own now. Once you've done that, see if you can do the whole song all the way through on your own. And now let's do it together from the beginning with smart music. Slowly first, and then we'll make it a bit faster. One, two, and three, four. 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 One, Pause and practice that on your own until it's really easy, slow, and you feel like it's too slow. And now let's do it a little bit faster.
and I've played a wrong note, can you tell me which one it was? And pause and practice it and play it again on your own. How did we go today with our quavers? Can we play quavers on beat one, two, three, and four now? Check how you go by playing exercise 51, 53, and keep going in your book and see how far you can get. I'll send you some smart music assignments. Let me know if this video was way too easy for you or way too hard. Keep up the good work and happy practicing.